This DJI Pocket 3 got a huge success since it was released last week, but believe me, you might not need it, like, at all. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Photorabs, I do videos about photography, filmmaking, camera tech related reviews, unboxings, action cams, vlogging kits and so on. If you're interested in these topics, I highly appreciate if you go subscribe to my channel, that's a massive help. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the DJI Pocket 3 and the DJI Osmo Action 4. I'm not gonna do a full comparison. I received many messages from you asking me to compare these two cameras. I'm gonna do this later on, but I decided to give you my thoughts why you might consider having the DJI Osmo Action 4 over the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by DJI or any other brands. If you would like to support my channel, I highly appreciate if you like this video, if you share it around, don't forget to subscribe of course, and you can be a member and a supporter for less than 2 euros per month, that helps my channel a lot, and I have by the way lots of affiliate links, you can find them in the description below, you can save some money and you can help my channel a lot, and I'm very thankful for that, and now let's talk about the DJI Action 4 and the DJI Pocket 3. This DJI Action 4 was released on August the 2nd, 2023, while this DJI Pocket 3 was released on October 25th, 2023. We have a little bit less than 4 months of difference between these two cameras. In this video, I decided to share with you 10 reasons why you might consider getting this one instead of the DJI Pocket 3. As I said in the beginning of this video, it's not gonna be a full comparison between these two cameras, but we have to mention that on the DJI Action 4, we have a one over 1.3 inch sensor comparing to one inch sensor on the DJI Pocket 3. So we have a bigger sensor on the Pocket 3 allowing for a better dynamic range and better low light capabilities, that's for sure. But the DJI Action 4 is way cheaper, 429 euros for the standalone version comparing to 539 euros for the Pocket 3 standalone version. And and if we will take the combo for both cameras, the DJI Action 4 with the Adventure combo is about 529 euros. The DJI Pocket 3 with the Creator combo is about 679 euros. So we have a huge difference in the price range. So that's the main reason we might consider getting this one over that one. But in this video, I'm going to talk about some other reasons that I found very important before you buy any of these two cameras. This DJI Action 4, while it's not a pocket camera, but as you can see, it's a very small, compact camera and it's very lightweight. So I believe it can fit in a pocket and a jacket, for example, easily without problems at all. Even though we have a one inch sensor on this DJI Pocket 3, but on this one, the sensor is very capable. We have great image quality, great footages in daylight, and we have decent quality in low light situations. And that's a huge plus for this one because it's cheap, compact, and it delivers high quality images and footages. That's a second point for this DJI Action 4. This camera has a front screen as you can see which allows you to use it as a vlogging camera easily without problems at all because it has a very decent microphone, it will pick up your voice easily, clear nice audio coming out from the camera and you can plug any USB-C microphone to this camera, you can use a dongle, a USB-C dongle to plug any jack microphone normally to this camera without problems at all and you can get even a better audio with this camera. Both cameras have the 4K 120 frames per second allowing you to have great slow motion shots while on this one you can achieve the 4K 120 frames per second in normal mode that means that you have the audio file baked in the video file you have only one file on the computer at the end so you can use only one file to slow it down or to use it as a normal speed while on this one, the normal mode cannot allow you to use the 4K 120 frame per second. You have to go to the slow mo. So that means you will have two files, one for the video and one for the audio, and then you have to sync them up yourself. On a quick note, the background music in this video is from Artlist. Artlist has you covered because they have everything you need, all the assets in only one place. You can download high quality music, you can download sound effects, you can download templates, footages, 
plugins and so on everything royalty free with only one subscription you can have everything in one place and that's amazing on this platform you have the ai that can learn the kind of music that you like for your videos and it will always suggest you new music in the same genre and by the way i'm not sponsored by artlist they did not pay me to talk about them but since i found this platform very interesting i decided to share it with you you can use the affiliate link in the description below if you're interested for any annual plan on the artlist website and you can get two months for free and that's amazing and if you would like to subscribe to the motion array annual plan you can get 50 dollars discount at the checkout and now let's go back to the video and by the way both cameras can record in 10 bit d log m the log profile the log color profile of these two cameras while this one has the built-in or the dedicated hdr mode which is a great feature on this dji action 4. on this dji pocket 3 you have a 20 millimeter lens that means that it's not very wide when you are vlogging you have to add the wide angle lens the 15 millimeter lens on this one while on this camera the dji action 4 you have the ultra wide the wide and the standard mode that means you have three lenses baked in in this small compact lightweight camera that's a great point also for dji action 4 because you can use it whether for tight shots as well as for wide shots easily without changing the lenses or plugging other lenses on top of it on this dji action 4 we have the standard magnetic mount from dji that's an amazing system mounting system from dji that i really love while on this one you have basically no mounting system no quick release mounting system except going to some third party manufacturers while on this one you can get the dji mounting ports and you have lots of accessories lots of mounting systems that you can use for this one while we are still limited for the dji pocket 3. if you get the dji pocket 3 with the creator combo you get the extended battery which is something that i really love on this camera because the battery on the pocket 2 was not so good so this one is an amazing feature as i said in my previous videos you can plug it here and then you can extend the battery life of the camera so mainly you can shoot for as long as you want while on the dji action 4 you have the exchangeable batteries the traditional exchangeable batteries that means you can take it out you can put some other batteries some fresh batteries inside and you can continue recording that means you can get as much as you want of batteries you will not run out of power at all with this kind of cameras while on this one at some moment if you don't have a power bank or a power delivery you will deplete all the batteries from this one and the camera itself and that's a good point for the dji action 4 over the dji pocket 3 and since this camera is an action camera that means it's so sturdy so rugged so solid you can count on it to do some adventures some hiking some very extreme sports some bike ride or some other stuff in the nature while this one is somehow very fragile because of this mechanical gimbal on top i'm not very sure that this one is as sturdy as the dji action 4 that's why this is another point that goes to the action 4 on the latest firmware update of the dji action 4 now we have the pre-recording modes that we can program it whether for 5 seconds up to 60 seconds that means it will start recording even before you hit the record button so you will not miss any shot any action in front of you and that's something that you cannot find on the dji pocket 3 and the last thing on my list is that this camera this dji action 4 is waterproof fully waterproof if the doors are closed as you know by the way this camera the pocket 3 is not waterproof at all you have the sd card here without any protection you have the usb-c port on the bottom it's not protected at all this camera is not waterproof well i do not recommend you to use it in a rainy situation and now we are in france nearly in winter season that means that i will not use this camera as much as i want while i can use this dji action 4 without problems at all i can use it under the rain i can use it under water if i want i can use it on the snow while this camera cannot handle the water and that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i showed you 10 points why i prefer the dji action 4 over the dji pocket 3 even though i love the dji pocket 3 but there are lots of reasons why this camera is better than this one and 
I hope that this video can help you choose whether this camera is suitable for you or this one. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. By the way, I have lots of promo codes in my description, lots of affiliate links. You can buy from them, you can save some money on photography and videography gear that I've talked about previously on my channel and you can help my channel a lot. And thank you for watching. Ciao for now.